Oh, you guys, what is up? Welcome back into the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about four defenders, um, four Rams defense players that I think have been doing good, and three that I think are doing kind of bad, that are just not there, okay? So, first up, we're going to start off with the four that are doing good. Uh, first up, I have... Terrell Lewis, he's doing really good. Um, last year, he only played in 12% of the defensive snaps because of his knee. He was dealing with injuries with his knee, and he just couldn't play. Um, and he's played 38% of the snaps, and he was uh, played 56% of the snaps against uh, the Cardinals. And he had three defensive pressures, four tackles, one sack and one forced fumble. And Leonard, and this is just, this here is looking at um, the Rams' pressures. And uh, Leonard Floyd led with five. Terrell Lewis was right there with three. Aaron Donald, two. Sebastian Joseph Day, two. Kenny Young, two. Ogbo, two. And. Pass Rush had 16 pressures, 13 hurries, and 3 sacks. So, they've been doing, um, so he's been doing really good. Um, he's been playing a lot more. Terrell Lewis has. Um, and he's been, he's definitely showed that he can play good. Um. So next up is Sebastian Joseph Day. Um, he only played in 40% of the snaps last season, and now he's played 68% of the snaps through the first four games. Um, he's been doing really good. Um, he has a run stop win rate of 52% which is second in the league only to Roy Lopez so he might actually get up there um, and take number one but um, you know it's hard to play next to Aaron Donald you know because everybody's looking at him but he's great he's a really good run stopper Stop, he's a really good rush stop. Um, so, and he's going up in free agency in 2022. And I really think this is one of the guys we need to bring back. Um, I think he needs to come back. We need him. We see he's been playing a lot. He's helped us out a lot. He's helped out the D-line because we lost a couple. We lost um, Michael Brockers and Morgan Fox last year two good D linemen so now we need to fill that and Joseph Day's um, Sebastian has kind of stepped up so I think we need to bring him back but uh, next up I'm going to talk about cornerback Robert Rochelle um, he's only played 16% of the snaps um, but we've seen that David Long Jr. may not be the option at cornerback so he's actually one of the players I'm looking at that's done really bad this year and we thought I think Sean McVay also thought where he more thought um that David Long Jr. would be able to step up and play that um be able to handle that position but after we seeing week four against the Cardinals he just could not keep Larry Fitzgerald and a great AJ Green on cover. We saw that one amazing catch by AJ Green. Um, Dave Long Jr. was the defender, and it was tight coverage too, but he just still couldn't get it. But I mean, that I feel like um, the corner. I don't. I don't feel like they don't want to put Jalen Ramsey back on the outside position. We've seen him do a lot better. Um, we've seen Jalen Ramsey do a lot better on his kind of mobile route, we'll call it, than he has than he did last year on the outside route. 
So, I don't think Sean McVay and Raheem Morris wants to put him back there. But, if David Long Jr. keeps playing where he is, how he is, I'd give Robert Rochelle a game, see how he does, and if he does good, good. But if he doesn't, we don't have a choice. We're going to have to put Jalen Ramsey back out there because we can't be giving up hundreds of yards a game because of bad cornerback. In the first three weeks, David Long Jr. did good, but... Um, I'll talk about him later when we actually talk about him, but he did, he's done, Robert Rochelle's done pretty good, he hasn't played a whole lot, but he's doing okay, um, and then the last one I want to talk about that's doing good is defensive end Deshaun Robinson, so Deshaun Robinson, he's done he really stepped up this year, and we needed somebody to step up at defensive end. He was a defensive tackle, but we moved him over to D end because we had two top defensive ends, Morgan Fox and Michael Brockers, and Michael Brockers, both lead. So we had to do something, so we moved him over there, and um, yeah, we were able to keep him around. Um, and the last two games, he's played 54 snaps. And he's posted 11 tackles, so that is really, really good. And I know on um, over the off season he was really working on controlling his weight and working out, trying to lose some of the weight to keep him healthy and to keep him to be able to play. Um, so I wouldn't be shocked to see him become a starter pretty soon. Um, I wouldn't be shocked to see Sean Robinson become a starter pretty soon. He's been doing really good for us. Um, but now we're going to talk about the people that's done badly. And first up, we have inside linebacker Kenny Young. And he did good. Last, last year, he played really good, right? Um, but so far this year, he's missed... Oh, very close to 10% of his tackle opportunities. And, um, obviously we drafted Ernest Jones in the third round. Um, but we also have Trav and Howard too, but they haven't played very well. Um, they've only played 19 snaps together. So, I wouldn't be surprised this week, next week, to see... Sean Van Raheem Morris taking out Kenny Young, seeing how Ernest Jones and Travis Howard can do in there, because obviously we need to do something. Now, every player on the team is going to have a bad week, some week, but we need to see what he's going to be doing. If he's going to do good this week, but really the whole year he hasn't done great, and obviously we lost Micah Kaiser to... Uh, we lost Mike Kaiser to the Broncos. They claimed him off our waivers, so that hurts us, or I think we would sign him. But I wouldn't be surprised to see more of Ernest Jones and Travis Howard playing. I wouldn't see more. I wouldn't doubt we wouldn't see more of them. I think in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be seeing Jones and Howard playing more. Um... But the next person I want to talk about is cornerback David Long Jr. And, well, he was doing pretty good. But like I was talking about earlier, against the Cardinals, he just could not keep um, A.J. Green and D-Hop under coverage. Um, and next week we're facing D.K. Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. And he'll probably be in charge of guarding Lockett most of the game. Um, so... Yeah, he'll probably be in charge of guarding Lockett most of the game because it'll either be Darius Williams or Jalen Ramsey on DK. There's no way we're going to let him be on DK Metcalf. That's going to be easy touchdown. Or else we're going to double team him. So, it's not everything on... Um, but I do feel like something needs to happen. Obviously, we couldn't keep... Um, John Johnson the third starting strong safety last year, or Troy Hill. Um, so really, that's what kind of um. I feel like we would. I feel like we should have 
I mean, we tried to bring both of those players back, but we mainly needed um, Troy Hill to come back. Because we're seeing now, especially, David Long Jr. just can't keep up. He's no match for some of these great wide receivers. And in week, weeks one through three, he did okay. Right? He got his first ever interception in week one, or in week two, and he was looking pretty good. But then, just going up against these star wide receivers, he just couldn't keep them down. He was just no match for him. And we were talking about um, Robert Rochelle earlier. He's a rookie. But I'm thinking we may, maybe this week something. Maybe free agency. Nobody's really left in free agency. But we, I think we need to try and find another corner. Now, he went up against some really good wide receivers. So it's not all his fault. But... I just need to see more out of him last week, and talk about next week too, he's probably, or really tomorrow, he's going to be guarding mainly Tyler Lockett, I think, and I don't know if he's going to be con be able to contain him, um, so we play some really good teams that have some really good groups of wide receivers, and he showed Sunday that he just can't keep some of them on lockdown, but um, yeah, so two, two um, problem spaces, two problem spots the Rams are having problems with right now in the defense is inside linebacker and cornerback. An inside linebacker, I don't think we have a huge problem at, but, because we do have Ernest Jones and Travis Howard as well, um, so, I'm not too, too worried at it at this point early in the season, but I'm going to be looking for these two tomorrow. In tomorrow's game, see, if they do good, if they do bad, if they have another bad game, then I think about replacing them, definitely, um, but for right now, I'm not too worried with them, but yeah, it's definitely showed we do need some help there, but um, yeah, so uh, that's all for today's video, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.